you are looking at one of the best rogues of the Revolutionary War. Early in my career, I worked for Colonel John Armstead II. I was a companion to the Colonel's son. We both studied French and English. My education allowed me to be a great worker in the taverns, but I heard slaves could apply for freedom after serving in the Continental Army. I volunteered for the Army at the age of 33. My intelligence was recognized by Lafayette. He said I had a great aptitude, so I was given the job of spy. The job was thrilling because if I was caught, I could be hanged. As a spy, I couldn't just walk around with identifying papers. Speaking of almost getting caught, I relayed information to Lafayette that almost resulted in Benedict Arnold's capture. Another exciting mission involved Yorktown. I got to know Cornwallis in July of 1781 when I was serving as a servant to him. When you are a spy, you have to be calm under pressure and make everyone you speak to feel at ease. I gave Lafayette intel regarding Cornwallis' plan, regarding his military strategies. Well, Cornwallis got a little too comfortable because he would surrender on October 19, 1781. When Cornwallis saw my smiling face, he said, Oh, you rogue, they have been me a trick all this time. Getting my freedom after espionage days would prove difficult. But I thank Lafayette for writing a testimony, vouching for my service. Once free, I got married to my lovely wife and began farming. I am James Armstead, Lafayette. Happy birthday, General Lafayette.